I just got back from Sasau. It was crazy. They nearly burned Jojo at the stake. I'm not even joking. Their rich cloaks oh, burst Jojo into flames. stirring up trouble again. Second, I'm gonna get into a fist Their fight. swords broke into pieces. Henry, let there be no bloodshed. Oh, really? I've got headcracker perk. I really want to use it. Uh, okay. I'll just, I'll have to crack their heads with my fist. Take that! I'm gonna destroy this. Fuck! Helgot! We shouldn't have messed with Jojo, okay? Now you're lying bloody in a field. That's, that's, that's how it goes, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Don't go dying on me. Jeez. Uh, ambulance? <laughs> Did you kill this man, Mark? Did you take a bite out of his ass? It's true. They met outside town, too. And it came to a bit of a skirmish. And that went too far. There were people killed. That's deplorable. There's Godwin, the old goat. He's sure to help me in this messed up situation with Johanka. Johanka? Johanka. I'm gonna say it properly. And he wants to put her on trial for heresy. Shit. That sounds like a really fucked up situation. Exactly. If I may, Monsignor, the Virgin Mary really does speak to Johanka. Is that so? And on what do you found this claim? It couldn't be the devil. Johanka lives at the monastery, doesn't she? Close to the cave of St. Procopius. St. Procopius, who overpowered the devil and cast him down, did he not? The evil one would hardly dare return to the dominion of the saints to whisper in Johanka's ear. And could you advise me what to do? Tackling the papal inquisitor? Best advice is don't do it. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Well, yes, yes, everything seems to be in order. That should work. We'll take this back to the geezer. He'll let us talk to Jojo. Here you go, shit kicker. Here's a document. See? Show me that. That's fine. Thank you, sir. Take care. Yeah, all right. I'll deal with you at some stage. You're a bit too smarmy. Johanka, are you all right? Yes, Henry. I'm fine. I'm glad to see you. I spoke to the Inquisitor. He wants to put you on trial. I know. It's all in God's hands now. No, it's not. I mean, it is, of course. But the bishop has allowed me to defend you. Oi, mud crab, your woman's in trouble. I need some help. Oh, what the hell? He won't talk to me. Whoa. I spoke to Johanka. And did you manage to convince her? I'm afraid not. She's stubborn. She says she answers only to the Blessed Virgin. Oh dear, Henry. That's not good at all. What about her family? Doesn't she have a relative she might listen to? No. None of them survived the raid on Scalitz. She has no one at all left in the world? Poor child. God be with you. Okay, surely he'll talk to me now. Oh, there we go. Bit of deduction. Love it. Matthias? You're better. Henry? Is it you? Yes, it's me. Who else would it be? Oh, I'm glad you're here, Henry. Oh, I feel a bit better now. I'd even like to eat something. I must tell your hunger. 
She'll be glad. Unfortunately, that won't be possible. Uh, oh? Why is that? Uh, how to begin? Look, things got a bit complicated here. The main thing is... Johanka is in jail, awaiting trial. What? <coughs> what happened? Um, basically, she done goofed, mate. Well, she claims she's being visited by the Virgin Mary and seeing visions. And she was preaching to people about it. But this Inquisitor heard about it and came to investigate. He locked her up. And he's going to try her for heresy. What? The Virgin Mary? Visiting Johanka? Yes. So she says. Trouble is, Johanka is very obstinate. And she's likely to say things in court that will just make it worse for her. Listen, Matthias, I need you to go with me and talk to her. Maybe together we can convince her to see sense. I wish I could. But I'm still too weak to even get out of bed. I'm sorry, Henry. I just can't do it. You know what? Tell her I'm feeling better. And I agree with everything you tell her. Give her this dice. She'll understand. It'll almost be like I was there with you. Dice? It's complicated. Back in Scalitz, Johanka wanted me to take her dancing, but she was too shy to ask. She thought if she took my dice and then brought it back to me, I'd be grateful and ask her to dance. <laughs> Crazy, I know. But that's girls for you. But I asked her anyway. And that evening she told me everything. Girls, eh? I know what you mean. Henry, please, look out for her. And make sure nothing happens to her. I'll do my best. Take care. I got you, Mug Crab. I got you. You're going to live happily ever after. Oh, there's an achievement writing on it. Quiet. All right, all right. Sorry. Shit. I spoke to Matthias. What? But he's lying in a fever, isn't he? No, he's much better. He asked about you. He wanted to come here, but he's not strong enough yet. Oh, that's wonderful. You see, our lady helped him. And now, I have to do my part. But doesn't it mean that you've already done your part? Well, I... <sighs> what would be the point nice. of all if the Inquisitor were to have you imprisoned now? Or even worse. It's a message. A final test. I mustn't fail now. After everything. But you already passed the Virgin Mary's message on. Many people heard it, and many of them have amended their ways. You certainly haven't failed. Look, Matthias gave me this for you. And he asked me to tell you to look out for yourself. Thank you, Henry. Go now. I need to rest. Years ago, I hid some money in Sassau Woods. When I found myself here again recently and heard Johanka's words, I remembered that matter. Johanka made me aware of my inordinate love of wealth, and I resolved to donate the money in question for the common good of Sassau. For this, I needed an honest intermediary who would locate the money. In this too, Johanka helped me by putting me in touch with Henry here. I feel quite hungry. By the grace of God, he found the long-lost treasure and donated it for the good of Sassau. The whole matter I regard as the intervention of the Holy Spirit. Whoa, 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 I don't know about that. Tale, Goodman, it was on the map, I just followed the map. It's also evidence of divine providence and that Johanka isn't making anything up. Sometimes I went with the fellas and, and um, pleasured them for money. But I don't do it anymore, I swear. I changed my ways on account of Johanka and Henry here, and now I lead a decent life. Johanka will take care of you. She's very good at that. You know, you're the first one to do something for me without expecting anything. And I don't have anything to give you, unless, if you wanted, for one last time, together. No, 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 no. My heart belongs to Tess. You don't have to thank me, and you certainly don't have to offer your body to anyone. Anyone at all. Oh, 
Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Good guy, Henry, doing good guy, Henry things. Oh, yeah. Please hear also the testimony of Guta, wife of the tailor, Ambrose. She can also bear witness to Johanka's good deeds. All right. Katra, you are a respected townswoman who has a good overview of what goes on in Sassau. As you told me earlier, will you tell me now what you know of Johanka and her deeds? Yes, I'll tell you everything, Monsignor. Johanka has been putting ideas into people's heads and causing chaos. What right has she to preach to us? A simpler girl like that. As if we were bad people here, and she herself is a sinner, and an adulterer, a loose woman she is, who goes with anyone, and even fornicated with a custodian, Sir Sebastian. That wasn't fornicating, it was screwing. Forgive me, Monsignor, but Catra isn't telling the whole truth. What do you mean, Henry? She's the one who set a band of thugs on Johanka several times to cause trouble for her and threaten her. She wanted to drive Johanka out of town. That's not the deed of a good Christian, plotting intrigues like that. She admitted it all to me. Is that true? I, uh... I only did what was necessary to stop her from bringing us to harm. Monsignor, you can see yourself that Catra holds a grudge against Johanka. Yes. I must agree with Henry. Now, look here, you scandalous little harlot. I need a word with you. I'm here about Johanka. You're that fella of hers, are you? What do you want? Uh, no. I'm just a friend of hers. Matthias is her, um, her feller. Huh. God knows how many she has. Oh, uh, this one, the, uh, she's got the claws out. Mm -mm -mm. What do you mean, warned? As I said, she was told. Tell me everything you know. I represent the royal hetman, so don't try and keep anything from me. If you must know, some of the fellas want to have it out with her and tell her to stop. No one wants her speeches here, but would she listen? No. The devil possessed her to bring harm to us. So it was you who sent those men? All I wanted was to protect the Sasso folk against her poisonous tongue, and I'll do just that. The Monsignor asked me to testify in court, and I'll tell everything I know there. And I'll do likewise. God be with you. Oh, really? Yeah, you really. Ooh, you're bringing out the caveman DNA. <laughs> ooh, back up, back up. Because I don't know anyone like her. She endured what would destroy most people and never gave up. She never wasted time feeling sorry for herself. Instead, she helped others, even at the cost of her own suffering. And she helped to redeem me, too. It's a pity everyone isn't like her. It seems you speak sincerely, and you hold her in high regard. Well, they come to her, yes. But I swear she never blessed anyone. She did visit me. But now I admit that I... Might yes, have been yes, wrong Jojo, you were wrong, yeah. I don't understand these learned matters. And You've got bits of straw in your hair, love. You will do as you command, Father. Johanka has confessed her guilt. And from this day forward, she'll be a good and humble Christian again. Hallelujah! She shall no longer indulge in philosophizing, and shall, in her penitence robe, go every day to pray at the church of St. Martin. Therefore, I ask you to welcome Johanka back into your midst. And hold no grudge against her. Jojo lives. If the Virgin Mary should happen to visit you again, tell 
Father Fabian, and he will send for me. All right? Yes, Senor. Very good. The two Yohaka was cleared of all charges of heresy. And the Inquisitor, his job done and his verdict pronounced, left Sassau for good. Matthias recovered from his illness, and he and Johanka finally met again. It was a happy sight to see them both alive and well after their trials. Who knows what awaits them now? Or all of us, for that matter. Uh, that should have just been called a woman's ordeal, like far out. That was that was full on, trying to get all the things to fit. <laughs> there it is, the sweet money shot. Angel of mercy. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. What about Johanka? Well, she has to go to St. Martin's to do penance every day. Ah, uh, you know that's not what I'm asking about. Uh, uh, yeah. It's all good. Of course, she's very busy. And me too. But we'll go dancing together next time there's some feet here. That is, I'd like to. She would too, but feet? she's a bit ashamed. Feet? You mean fate, what? right? <laughs> As in a school fate? That's a weird pronunciation. And the court and everything. She's worried young people. Ah, I see. Well, that'll pass with time, believe me. It took me and Teresa a while to get somewhere too. Sometimes I feel like it's been a whole year. Like you said. Ah, Tess. Mill made of my heart. Look at that dress, that's spectacular. If we can save some money. I don't know where, though. Hey, mate. Seriously, I own my own village. You can come and live there. It's fine. Like we've got heaps of room. There's a tavern. I'm, I'm big, big money Henry. Big money Henry. Just he helped his friends. It's fine. Well, I might have something for you. Sir Divish appointed me bailiff of Priblavitz. After you finish with the harvests, the two of you could go there. There'll be lots of work there for a clever pair like you. Jesus, Henry, you've really come up in the world. That would be great. Thanks. We'll go there, right after harvest. It's good to know we'll have a place for the winter. I won't forget you for this, Hedda. Matthias, I'm just happy to see you on your feet. This is literally the first time I've got this ending. It's, it's great. <laughs> well, enjoy your hoe. But I want to thank you for standing by me. You've done more for me than anyone else I know you don't have to thank me I only did what I consider right I'm still grateful though I'm in your debt goodbye uh, it's fine Jojo we're mates it's cool it was a terrible ordeal but apparently I'm an angel of mercy now so yeah okay God be with you Henry All good, Jojo. All good. 